After a Russian programmer was detained by Russia's Federal Secret Service, it was discovered that a new spyware was secretly installed on his device upon its return. After regaining access to his mobile device, the programmer suspected it was tampered with. So after spotting this unusual behavior, the programmer decides to hand over his phone to a citizen lab for forensic analysis, and the investigators confirm that spyware has been installed on the device, and it was impersonating a legitimate Android app called Cube Call Recorder, and it looks like it's an app that's used to record phone calls and VoIP conversations. We have a nice chart that shows the permissions granted to the Trojanized app or the fake spyware app compared to the legitimate cube call recorder. So we see that both the spyware app and the legitimate app have access to the user's location when the app is open, the ability to record phone calls and gathering information about the target's contacts. But the spyware app also has a ton of other extra permissions, including accessing GPS information when the app is not in use, being able to read and send iMessages or SMS messages, being able to install additional packages and other malware, recording calendar entries, recording screen captures, being able to answer phone calls, and record video from the device's camera.